Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, whatever time it is when you're watching this. I hope everybody's having a good day. And today we're going to be reading chapter 10 of New Kid. Quick recap of chapter 9. So, Jordan went to go hang out with his good friend Liam over at Liam's house. And after seeing how big of a mansion they lived in, his dad started feeling like he was losing his son. So, he started giving him some gifts. He got him the brand new NBA 2K, which we know his dad never does. And they started celebrating Kwanzaa a little more to try to bring him back to their culture because he thought he was losing him when we all know Jordan loves his dad. There's no way he could ever lose his son. So let's start chapter 10, the Saki Horror Picture Show. This is a reference to the Rocky Horror Picture Show. If you've never seen that. I've personally never seen it myself either, but I know about it, so that's how I know the reference. <laughs> Let's start. Starting off with a journal page. Tales of the not-so-dark night. I wish I was Batman. Not just for all the cool reasons. I am vengeance. Nice to meet you. Or the fact that he's rich. Not just rich. So rich. I wish I was Batman. It's like it fit in anywhere. One minute he's at a board meeting. I am Bruce Wayne. And the next, he's in the most dangerous part of town. Completely fearless. I am Batman. Although he never seems to have any friends. Hey Alfred, want to play cards again? I am quitting. But luckily, that's not me anymore. But unlike me, Batman is also in control of everything. No fear. No pickles! And I really love how Batman always stands up for the little guys. Because usually, that little guy is me. Mom, can I go to art school? No! Good afternoon. I'm Ashley Martin, and welcome to the Rad Vacation Review. A look at the winners and losers during a holiday break. The biggest winner had to be Cindy Marcus, whose dad chartered the space shuttle to ring in the new year in orbit. Her vacation was literally out of this world. Robbie D was a close second. His family spent Christmas with His Holiness the Pope. Ah, Rome. Sweet Rome. Meanwhile, Andy went to Hawaii with his trusty minion, Colin. Thank goodness we didn't go to Hawaii, said everyone. Vacation losers include Jordan, Drew, Murray, Alex, Ramon, and that creepy puppet girl. Uh, actually, we went to our villa in Tuscany. I stand corrected. And now, let the tanning contest begin. Seeing who got the most tan over vacation. Look, Jordan, I'm even darker than you. Uh, it was bad enough I had to go through this at St. Harwell's, but this feels even worse. Flashback. Hey, check it out. Even my wheat bread is darker than Jordan. And it's not even toasted. Come on, man. I'll buy you a free lunch. Lunch. I heard Graham got another laptop, but this one is only for games. Who told you that? He did. Six times. Ruby and Ashley's families went to Greece because we're going to study it this semester. Wow. My dad won't even get me Greek yogurt unless it's on sale. Know where I went? Where? Walmart. And not just a regular one, a super Walmart. How about you? South Uptown, <laughs> that's how we roll. Like my tan? Wow, you might even win the competition. Hey, where's Liam? I don't know, I asked him about his vacation, but he was vague. Maybe he couldn't afford to go anywhere. Here we have a thought bubble. I doubt that. So you see at this point in the school year, they're kind of used to feeling different and not being able to do the things that their other classmates can do. So at this point, they just kind of joke about it, and they accept it. Spaghetti? No, ma'am. I hate spaghetti. Man, that Alexander sure is strange. I mean, who doesn't like spaghetti? I know, right? I'll be glad when this week is over. Yeah, then we won't have to hear about all the vacations that we didn't get to go on. At least not until spring break. As if this day isn't already bad enough, I have my new art class today. But you like art. It's going to be lame, though. That's why I didn't take it first semester. Lame art class. 
Hello class, I'm Miss Slate. Welcome to Visual Arts. I've taught here for 12 years and have had many gallery shows. Here are some of the pieces I've done. As you see, I use shapes and layers of paint to define, my, define the aura of my art. Each color has a unique soul of its own. Okay, we're shutting this thing down. This is not a drill. Repeat, this is not a drill. Activities will cease in three, two, one. Power off. He is bored to death. Five days later. He feels like it's been five days because he was so bored. He's growing a beard. He's losing his hair. He's got spider webs coming off him. So, Mr. Picasso, what'd you think of that? I don't know, Colin. I kind of hate that stuff. I want to learn how to draw real stuff, not just a bunch of scribbles. I can see that. You should still give it a chance. It might be fun. I mean, what's the worst that can happen? I'm blind! That's what he's thinking the worst thing could happen is. I guess I could give it a chance. Thanks, Colin. No problem, dude. Hey, can I ask you a question? Shoot. So, you seem pretty cool. Why do you hang out with Andy? <laughs> You're not the first person to ask me that. He really is a decent guy, but I know he can cross the line sometimes. Sometimes? If there is a line here, then Andy is all the way by forward field. True, but there are times when he can be really funny too. Here he comes. Hey everyone, may I have your attention please? Has someone lost a child? Ha 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 ha. Is this one of those times? Not funny, Andy. Oh, what's up, Drew? Come on, we don't want to be late for class. I noticed she didn't go out for a winter sport. Scared? Yeah, that's it, Andy. I'm petrified of wrestling and hockey. And don't get me started on squash. Well, since everyone has to do a spring sport, I dare you to try out for baseball. Wait a minute, squash is a sport? No wonder Murray is so confused. He finally learned what squash is. <laughs> Jeez, what is it with you two? I have no idea, but if that's what he wants, that's what he'll get. We all know Drew and Andy do not like each other. Math class. And by adding solar panels to all the trains, we can have a clean and sustainable railway system. Well done, Mr. Peterson. Does anyone have any questions? I do. Did you do the calculations to see how much energy one panel can produce, then multiply it to see if your train could actually move fast enough to make the investment worth it? Excellent point, Mr. Ellis. Why don't you redo your calculations and give your report again once they work out? Oh, Andy does not like that. After math class. That was so cold, but awesome. He deserved it. True. Gotta run. My dad is picking me up. Up for a little Call of Duty with Liam later? Sure, I can play for a bit around seven. But just for a game or two, then I gotta study. Cool. Catch you later. Stuck in traffic. We'll be late. <sighs> He's the only one left. Well, at least the day can't get any... Started to rain. Hey, whoa, Jordan. Would you like to share an umbrella with us while we wait for our rides? He's not the only one left. Alexandra's there. Uh, I guess. Goody, say hi to Oscar. Oscar? Like Oscar the Grouch from Sesame Street. He was my fave. But I never liked the fact that he was a grouch, so I made mine happy. Womp. See? Well, of course he was a grouch. Wouldn't you be if your friend sang and danced while you lived in a garbage can? Why didn't anyone help him? Oh, gee, I never thought of it that way. So I guess you don't like Oscar, huh? No, it's not that. I'm sorry, Alexandra. Then you don't like me? It's okay. No one does. I know everyone thinks I'm weird. This is where you're supposed to tell me that no one really thinks I'm weird, even though they really do. Oh, sorry, Alex. My grandpa always says never comfort someone with a lie. Don't be sorry, Jordan. I respect your honesty. Oh, here. 
Thanks. So there I was in the rain, talking to the weirdest kid in my grade, maybe even the whole school, hoping with all my might that maybe she's not as weird as everyone thinks she is, and maybe she'll stop carrying around those stupid puppets and stop talking in that annoying puppet voice so people would see how nice she is. But deep down, what I was hoping for most of all, and I mean really hoping with all my might, was that she wasn't about to kiss me. That's how it always happens in movies. You share a moment, then bam, next thing you know, you're a couple. I love you, Jordan. I love you more, Lexi. So I made sure that we never stop talking. Girls always kiss you during awkward pauses. Can I ask you a question, Alex? Sure. What's up with the puppets? Oh, well, it's kind of hard to talk about, but I guess I can tell you. You're never mean to me, Jordan. Um, one day, I was playing with my little brother, Ian. My mom was making spaghetti. She used to make it every Wednesday. Anyway, the doorbell rang and my mom went to get it. Ian's arm hit mom's pot. I saw it flip over it like in slow motion. I pushed him out of the way so he wouldn't get burned. He didn't. Oh, but the boiling water hit her. But I did. On my hand. And a little bit on my ankle. I've been trying to hide it ever since with bandages, then gloves. Now with puppets? Yeah. So I guess you want to see it now. No, not really. I haven't shown this to anyone in years. Well, why start now? You don't... Yeah, I think I do. Besides, I trust you, Jordan. So I guess it's okay if I show you this. Look at that nasty, disgusting hand. Oh, actually, it's not that bad. I really don't think anyone will tease you about it, Alex. Really? Hey, it's our parents. Promise not to tell? Why? You saved your little brother. You're a hero. Well, okay. You can tell one person. Deal. Bye, Jordan. Oops, didn't mean to do the puppet voice. Sorry I'm late. How was your day? Where do I start? That is the end of chapter 10. We finally know why Alexandra has the puppets always. It's because of a burn that happened when she was younger. Look, this is what he was picturing. Was this gross, disgusting, zombie-looking arm. But if you look in this picture right here, it's just a tiny little dot on her wrist. And Jordan is confused. Why are you ashamed of this? You're a hero. You saved your little brother from being burned. So, question for today. Leave your answer down in the comments. Why do you think she covers it up? We've known from Jordan and Drew talking to her that Alexandra is a really nice person. She just wants to be friends, but people think she's weird because she has a puppet on her hand. So why do you think she wears the puppets to hide a tiny scar? Think about that. And we will start chapter 11 in the next video. Have a good day.